Hey, Jack here, Basement Gas. This may come as a surprise, but I think I found a fifth and even better way to get the tone from Adam Jones from the epic tool down. My name is Jack, and I obviously still have a serious case of gas. the channel for a while you'll know that I'm a big Tool fan and obviously a big fan of Adam Jones and his unique tone and I've been going through different methods be it signal chains or even pickups and different guitars to try and get as close as we can to that tone. So far we've got one video that has almost 10,000 likes at the time of the recording so let's have a quick tonal recap of that and see what we've got planned for today. So I think after that tonal recap, we saw that method one, and maybe even method four, which was actually the cheapest, so it was the most expensive and the cheapest, um, came close to getting to that Adam Jones tone. Now, some people might not want to use plugins, and some people might not have thousands of dollars, euros, pounds, flying around where they can use three different amps and cabinets. So I've come up with an even better way, which is, good sounding, it's using German technology, and it's not that expensive. Now what we're going to be using is the VH4 Model 2 from Diesel Amplifications. Now if you know Tool and you know Adam Jones and you've seen my channel, um, we know that Adam Jones actually uses diesel amplifiers, specifically the VH4. So this is his amplifier in a pedal, and it works as a preamp. This is the Model 2, so it's been improved even more. It has two different channels, Presence, um, Deep, a full EQ, and like I said, Master Volume for each channel and two gain settings. So you can use this in a clean amp in the front. You can use it in the signal chain, so it's only taking advantage of the power amp of uh, power section of your amplifier, or you can be even more cost effective or you might not have an amplifier and do what I did and what we're going to be doing is running through the more radar cab simulator this is a full lineup of the pedals I'm using so it's starting off first in a boss DD3 then it's going into a boss flanger pedal then into the micro amp from MXR, then into the diesel VH4 2 pedal, and then from there it's going into the more radar, which is using it as a power amp and also for a cabinet simulator. And I've actually uploaded my own impulse response, which is a Marshall 1960, into the more radar. Personally, I think that the 
um, out of the box cabinet simulators in the more radar are fantastic but one of my favorite uh, impulse responses or cabinet simulators are the is the Marshall 1960 that I got from Lancaster Audio and that's that's my favorite that's why I used it I think it sounded actually really good which you'll hear now in the mix so that's the full signal chain and this is what I was able to produce mm.
So what are the costs for this rig or this signal chain? Now I'm not taking in the guitar or the audio interface into account. It's just for the five pedals. So the Moore Radar is 129 euros. The MXR Microamp is 96 euros. The Boss Flanger 125. The Boss DD Delay 129. And the most expensive, the Diesel VH4 2 pedal 329, giving us a grand total of. 808 European Unions, Euros, European Union Euros. So it's not cheap, but it's cheaper than getting probably a diesel amplifier, a cabinet. Um, you're going to have to get the pedals anyway, so you know, just uh, take that into account. Now this thing is great for recording and it's great just for home use as well. Obviously the Moore Radar has a uh, headphone output jack, so if you just wanna jam in your apartment or in your room, plug some headphones in and you've got a great signal chain and it sounds really good. You can use your normal pedals, which is advantageous. And this could actually be used for gigging as well. So you take the Moore and it goes straight into the front of house, um, mixing table and mixing table you know what I mean um, and you're set so give me some feedback let me know what you thought of it also compared with the first four methods that we did from the other video and um, I thought it was really good I really liked it um, I could be wrong though I could be biased uh -huh. um, when it comes to what tone I want to hear but it certainly ranks up with um, with the real amplifiers and maybe even the plugins as well, so digital sounds. Uh, let me know. Let me uh, write down in the in the 
comments if you thought it was good, if you didn't think it was good, if anything would have to be changed on the settings, or if you also have some suggestions getting the Adam Jones tone using maybe just pedals. Anyway, if you like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support so far. And um, as always, my name is Jack and I, I have a serious case of diesel, super bly fry benzene, um, you know, all those different German names for gasoline gas. So German gas, German gas. Anyway, have a nice day, everybody. See you soon.